International media reported today that the chief executive officer of Google Loan Project has resigned and that a new CEO has been appointed to lead the Google Loan Project. The newly appointed chief executive officer for the project is Alistair Westgard, who headed wireless and antenna company Quintel. The outgoing CEO, Tom Moore, was brought in after the head of the project, Mike Cassidy, stepped down in August last year. Incidentally, Mike Cassidy was the representative who came to Sri Lanka to sign the MOU on Google Loon with Sri Lanka. The Bloomberg Tech site reports that the Google Loon project, also known as X, has been testing its balloons around the world since 2013, partnering with wireless operators like Vodafone NZ in New Zealand, Telstra in Australia and Telefonica in South America to provide internet access in rural and mountainous areas that aren't served by traditional terrestrial networks. Bloomberg further reports that the transition comes after the company scaled back an ambitious attempt to build a global communications service by circling the earth with high-altitude balloons. According to international media, Moore's hiring was intended to reflect a path towards commercialization of Project Loon, which has only seen limited deployments in countries including Sri Lanka since its unveiling. The report further states that last year, Loon signed a deal to test its internet beaming balloons with Indonesia's three largest wireless carriers. A spokesperson for the project has said that they have not started these tests, but the parties still plan to pursue them. Uh, now, the Google Loon is a fantastic technology. With that, the idea of Google is that they want to, they say that about two thirds of the world population is yeah. not connected. Right. It's not connected. Right. They are not talking about the penetration. They say they are not, not connected. connected. Yeah. In Sri Lanka, we are 80% connected, right. but not using. Right. When two-thirds is which more than 60% yeah. not connected. Yeah. So that's where they apply this technology to improve this connectivity, give yeah. them the connectivity. Right. Uh, so if you take the complete coverage yeah. uh, or the, the, the ability of using these broadband technologies in the country, yeah. so at least 80% of yeah. the population is covered. Overall, if you look, talk to the operators, they would say that, uh, okay, we have voice, 100% covered, but broadband yeah. for internet access, about 80% covered by at least one or two operators and few others, maybe over 70% mm. covered. So that coverage is there, but the problem is we don't... The problem use is, is only 25% of the exactly. people are using.